Welcome to GlobalDirectParts.com's sneak peek at never before seen new generation iPhone parts. Is it iPhone 5 or is it the new Verizon CDMA version of iPhone 4? For now we'll just call it iPhone 5. We will show you the differences between these new generation parts and standard iPhone 4 parts for the first time brought to you exclusively from GlobalDirectParts.com. Here are the parts we will compare, starting with the charging port flex cable ribbon. Like the iPhone 4, the iPhone 5 charging port flex ribbon also includes the microphone, the home button connector, and the loudspeaker connector. The iPhone 5 charging port is also the same width as the iPhone 4 charging port. The flex ribbon end connector connecting to the motherboard is also the same. We did notice that the iPhone 5 charging port flex cable ribbon is about one centimeter longer than the iPhone 4 charging port flex ribbon. Now we'll compare the audio flex ribbons. The iPhone 5 audio flex ribbon, as you can see, is much longer from the old iPhone 4 audio flex ribbon. Both of them have many of the same pieces, but as you can see, there are also some very big differences. The iPhone 5 microphone is also connected to the audio flex ribbon while the iPhone 4 microphone is connected to the power button flex ribbon. This is probably designed to improve the performance of video chat. Another difference that we noticed is the iPhone 4 audio flex ribbon incorporates a vibe motor contact while the iPhone 5 Audio Flex does not. Now we'll compare the iPhone middle plates. Starting on the left hand side, as you can see both pieces at the bottom have the same black separation line and at the top the new iPhone 5 has an extra one. This might be there in order to fix the signal drop issues that uh, the iPhone 4 was having. The volume buttons are placed at the same spots. However, the mute button on the new iPhone 5 is placed a little bit lower below that new separation line. Going to the top now, as you can see on the iPhone 4, the black separator line is still present, while on the iPhone 5 it is not. However, the holes are still placed in the same positions. Over to the right hand side, as you can see the new iPhone 5 has a new separation line. The SIM card holes, however, are still in the same positions. Over to the bottom, the charging port holes on the new iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4 are still all exactly the same. Let's take a look now at the front side of the middle plate. And we'll start with the upper part. There are many noticeable differences on the upper part. Most notably is the size of the plastic piece, uh, the size of the metal piece, as well as the hole configuration. On the iPhone 4, there is a camera hole, while on the iPhone 5, the camera hole is no longer present. There's also a difference on the right side of where the screw holes are placed. As we look down towards the bottom of the middle frame, you can see that this hole is no longer present on the iPhone 5 middle frame. The iPhone 5 middle frame also has this new metal band just above the home button. The iPhone 4 does not have it. This might be added in order to address the signal issues that the iPhone 4 has been having. Okay, now we'll take a look at the back of the middle frames. As you can see, the structure on the back of the middle frames is also quite different. Starting right here, that camera hole isn't there as we saw on the front, but there's also a small little screw, an extra screw on the iPhone 5 that wasn't on the iPhone 4. 
The holes, as we showed on the front as well, are also all in different positions. Okay, moving down to the bottom of the middle frames, you can see that hole again. Also, you can see that there's three extra screws on the iPhone 5, probably there to make the phone a little bit more sturdy. Then down at the bottom, there's also uh, the whole configurations that are placed differently on the two middle frames. This is all we can disclose for now. For more exclusive information about new iPhone 5 parts, such as LCDs and motherboards, visit us at globaldirectparts.com. More inside news still to come next week. See you then.